Okay, last house for the day, 7952 Camino Alvaro. And nice neighborhood. This is in the more the La Costa area of Carlsbad. Um, I know that doesn't mean much to you. If I had my pick, I think this is a pretty good place to live. Um, I'll tell you what I like about the house, what I don't like about the house. Um, this, it's right on the corner here, so you have a corner lot. That's good. But you are going to have you know, a fair amount of traffic coming up here because I think this might be the only entrance to the, uh, to the neighborhood is over here. So I'm not quite exactly sure. I'll have to look at it. Uh, the house itself is good. It says that they did an addition at some point. I don't know where the addition is. It's, it's done 20 years ago. So I'm no architect. So when I look in there, I can't get a good real feeling for where exactly the addition was. Try to figure out as we walk through. I walked through already once. So three car garage. I haven't even looked in the garage yet, but I can't walk through downstairs. Uh, walk through upstairs. Uh, everything's pretty good. Looks nice enough. Not a lot of... Um, uh, not a lot of major work to be done, but updating as uh, as always. So you walk in through the front door, and uh, it's all hard surfaces down here. So this is the living room, uh, nice big living room. Everything's well taken care of. The wall colors are pretty much uh, should be okay. I mean it's pretty neutral. Um, it's a little bit darker than I would choose for my rentals, but. For the fact of what you have already and not having to repaint, um, I think it looks mostly good. Uh, all this hard surface through the um, this is laminate on the uh, on the flooring here in the in the formal living area. You got the fireplace here. Plenty of um, plenty of light coming in here. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to figure out which best way to walk around here. And there's the stairs going upstairs on your right. Uh, there's half bath down here. This is four beds, two and a half bath. So the half bath downstairs, there's no bedrooms downstairs. All the bedrooms are up. So as I always point out, I'm not saying that's bad, but I think uh, it's always good when you have one bedroom downstairs. Okay. So we walk through back here uh, in the kitchen area and the, and the breakfast room. I like the way it's laid out here. Um, I'm assuming that we're going to want to update this a little bit. These aren't the worst tiles I've ever seen. It actually looks quite nice, but that backsplash, uh, I'm assuming that Diana's going to say it's uh, like too funky um, and that we could maximize by updating that. But it, we could stay, but what I don't like about it is these tiles are all cracked here and it's come, the cracks come kind of all the way here. I slid on the camera right over there, uh, more pronounced over here. So, oh, and got some cracking right there so I would assume um, update kitchen flooring is good so that's one good thing um, the cabinets look all right as they are but I think if you if you uh, geez, I don't know the way those wooden cabinets I don't know if that would look good painted white or not but if you paint those cabinets white put some uh, hardware on there and and change out these cabinets or change out these uh, countertops this thing's gonna look a lot better okay uh, over here is the formal uh, dining, which I think this is real hardwood. This is hardwood floors. I'm um, pretty sure it's down there. Yeah, it's solid. So uh, wood floors over here. The space downstairs uh, really flows to, uh, together nicely. I like it. Um, and then uh, you come out back here. And this is the pool. And of course it's an older pool, but uh, it's this nice. Looks like it's been been well maintained, and uh, this is a great backyard. It's a great entertaining backyard. Um, I can hear the filter running over here. So this is your your pool equipment over here. Um, yeah, I've got uh, I've got a house in this general neighborhood, uh, but it's a little bit it's a, not far away. It looks like you're almost exactly the same kind of pool. Um, yeah, nice. Uh, looks like a lemon tree in the backyard. And then uh, the, I'm just going to walk around the back over here. So you got the whole patio set up over here. This, uh, this door's open up through the breakfast area. And then you've got the small side yard here. Okay. Um, 
All right. You can tell, like, I'm going to show you this from the outside. This is like an older style box window. I don't know if we've seen a ton of those. I like them. Uh, it gives you a lot of room there on the uh, on the windowsill. So, uh, I'm going to come back in here and close this door. I'm not coming back in through here. I don't forget. All right, so I'll take you upstairs. So this carpet, it's a little bit older style. Uh, it looks like it's fine. I think older older people live here. They probably raise their family and are empty nesters and probably fly in the coop. Um, so you can see it's a little bit worn right there and there. So again, one of the more one of the major expenses. So kitchen update: um, for the carpet. Again, we have to talk to Diana. I don't think it's too bad, but I've gotten in trouble before for saying the carpet will be fine when the carpet is not fine. So she scolds me a lot. Okay, uh, this is the master bedroom. And, uh, well, I mean, because this would have to be taken care of for sure. You see they have carpet going into the bathroom, which is nuts. I think I've told you that it happens here sometimes. And uh, I thought it's insane, but um, there's uh, carpet going into the bathroom. Uh, tile bath definitely looks like older style, but some of the less obnoxious stuff that I've seen, I've seen a lot more uh, obnoxious looking stuff than that. So I think that would be able to stay. And I think that this, um, this would also be able to stay. you got these dual sinks. And again, the cabinets are fine the way they are, but um, you either want to refinish them or, or maybe uh, sand and paint and put some hardware on. That's not very expensive. And so sand those down, make them white, put some, uh, put some uh, hardware on there. Look pretty good. Uh, all the windows are original around here. Um, so, let's go look at the other bedrooms in the bath. Uh, here, I don't, I don't I don't, love this. I don't know what we're going to do with it. they got stained glass here. You know, it makes me feel like I uh, should go to church, but there's a stained glass window right there. I don't know how much that would be to replace. Or, it wouldn't be a ton, but it's something. Okay. Um, so, let's cruise over here. There's two other bedrooms over here. Uh, and these two actually are joined by a door... It has a lock on it. Very interesting. Maybe this was the addition part. I don't know. Um, it's weird. Um, I cannot figure it out. But there's two bedrooms. It's a little bit um, smaller than, of course, we were seeing in some of the other places, which were a lot bigger than this one. And then uh, the bathroom here, again, looks fine. Might well, The cabinets look okay. Uh, might be able to spruce them up a little bit. And then you'd want to replace those uh, um, shower curtain with shower doors so it doesn't leak out. And again, it's a tile in there, and um, it's obviously a bit dated. I know the camera went on focus there for a bit. It's a little bit dated, but uh, it's some of the least obnoxious stuff I've ever seen. And look over here. And uh, I'm just going to show you real quick. So you're this is exactly the kind of reason. Not nothing major there, but that's exactly the reason you want to have shower doors because you don't want the water seeping out of the bathtub here and uh, into the wall, into the drywall there. Uh, I can't see this thing having to be repainted, so um, that's good. That'll save you. That'll save you money. There needs to be touch-ups. You can see little stuff like that. I don't even know if that's. A, uh, major or not. And then you got this third bedroom, so I didn't see, you know, if you saw, I just stepped up over there and uh, stepped up into this uh, third uh, side bedroom here. So you get the master and the three bedrooms, and um, this one gets a ton of light and uh, overlooks the pool, which is a sweet room. Uh, again, not updated windows. So uh, Diana said she has one around the corner in this neighborhood that she rents on Sombrosa, which is just around the corner. I think she said she's getting about 35 for it. Uh, I don't know if that has a pool. This will definitely go for more than 35 If uh, well, I could say almost definitely should go more than 35 But uh, it does require some updating. But it doesn't require the $35,000 we are talking for Canyon. Uh, or the, uh, the first one I was in today. Uh, which is already a winter green. It doesn't require that much. So the... Uh, the um, the actual work that needs to be done here is going to be less, although you are going to do, want to do the updating stuff. So it comes down to the numbers. There is an HOA in here, I think. I can't remember what it is, about $78 or something like that. you got that pool, which is going to come with an additional uh, expense of $125 to $150 a month for the uh, pool guy. Um, 
Yeah, and I just don't know. I would think that this place would would pull in rent of thirty seven, thirty eight hundred, uh, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine with that pool and with the updates. But we'll have to check it out. All right, but that's it for today.